Number 33, suppose you measure a standing person's blood pressure by placing the cuff on his leg 0.5 meters below the heart. Calculate the pressure you would observe in units of millimeters of mercury if the pressure at the heart were 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. Assume that there is no loss of pressure due to resistance in the circulatory system. A reasonable assumption since major, major arteries are large. Um, okay, now in terms of you know, answering a problem like this, there's many ways to do this. But I think the, the easiest way in my mind is first, let's think about if the heart is producing a certain amount of pressure, okay, and then blood is going to be traveling, you know, blood gets down to the leg, right, via the descending aorta here. So if, do you, do you think the pressure should be higher at this location than at the heart or lower? And why? That's right. You said higher. And even if you didn't, you said it anyway, right? You said it should be higher. So the pressure in the leg is going to be higher. Well, why? Well, first they told us that there, let's assume that there's no loss of friction, right? No, no energy losses due to friction. And therefore, not only is this heart producing a certain amount of pressure, okay, in terms of the uh, systolic and diastolic measures, uh, but also then at this particular location, Right? It also experiences a pressure due to the weight of the fluid above it, okay, according to this law. Well, that equation at least, right? So it should be higher here. We should expect a pressure to be higher in the leg than in the heart, hence why we don't really take pressures in the leg, right? Usually when you're taking blood pressure, you want the arm, you take it in the upper arm, right? Why? because it's very similar height to where the heart is. All right. Now, let's start with, so keeping that in mind, all right, I can now think about it this way. So let's write out the equation. So pressure will be equal to the height, all right, multiplied by the density of the fluid multiplied by gravity. So now, in this particular case, what I'm going to do is remember that we're talking about blood here, all right, inside of the um, aorta, the descending aorta. So we're talking about blood, and we have to know what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert, basically, the units of the height of blood into height of mercury. That's basically what I'm going to do. What I'm saying is the pressure that the blood is, the uh, excuse me, the pressure down here of the blood, okay, uh, will equal the pressure of mercury. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do though is I'm really going to say the change in pressure of the blood is going to equal to the change in pressure uh, of mercury. I'm, I'm basically taking out this component of the heart pressure. I just want to find the pressure, the pressure that results from this height differential. That's all. So I don't want to know the overall height. I just want to know the change in height. Okay. So you can get rid of these little deltas here. It doesn't matter. All right, but just uh, that's basically what I'm doing. All I'm trying to do is just find the pressure due to the height. That's it. And that's what I'm equate, uh, equating here. So I can expand these, right? The height of the blood uh, multiplied by the density of the blood times gravity will equal then the height of mercury multiplied by the density of mercury multiplied by gravity. Notice what happens to gravity. Gravity goes bye-bye. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve this in terms of height of mercury. Why am I going to do that? Why am I going to do that? I'm going to do that so that I can simply take this answer and then add it to my pressures before and get my final values. All right? Because these are in terms of heights of mercury. So this is going to then be the height of the blood multiplied by the uh, density of the blood all divided by the density of mercury. That looks like a pressure to me, right? Density of mercury. So this is this is the formula, okay? All I got to do is now plug in the value. So the height of the blood here, the height differential is going to be 0.5 meters, okay? The, uh, the density of blood is about 1,050 kilogram per cubic meter, and then the density of mercury is about 13,600 uh, uh, kilograms per cubic meter. All right, now let's just do the math. 
So here there's going to be 0.5 times 1050 times 13600. And this is going, oh no, not times. What am I talking about? Divided by 0.5 times 1050 divided by 13600. And now we get a value, and this, by the way, is in terms of meters, right? Because what height value, what unit was this? 0.5, okay? But what units do we have up here in terms of the uh, pressure of mercury? It's in millimeters. So this is in meters. This is in millimeters. You cannot add the two right now. We would have to convert our answer here to uh, millimeters. So what I'm going to do here, just to do this all in one step, just multiply the answer by 1,000, and that'll get you in millimeters, so it just comes out to be about 38.6, okay? So this is about 38.6 millimeters of mercury, all right? This is the pressure. This is the additional amount of pressure in millimeters of mercury when you take the blood pressure 0.5 meters below the heart, okay? And that's why we want to take, again, blood pressures at the same level of the heart so that we don't have to. So we know that the pressure that we're taking is about or is approximately uh, clo as close as possible to the actual pressure that the heart is producing. So how do I now get my answer? Remember this in terms of in, term in terms of medicine, this is not a division. You don't take the 120 and divide by the 180. I'm sure you know that, right? These are two separate measurements. So all we're going to do now is just take the 120 millimeters of mercury the systolic value and add to that the 38.6 and that's going to be over then the 80 millimeters of mercury plus now the 38.6 we found so the pressure what will what will get spit out on the blood pressure cuff will be 120 plus 38.6 i don't know why why do i need to calculate for this i don't know <laughs> so this is this is about 158 so this is we're, we're going to round so about 159 over then, add those two together. This looks like it's going to be about 119, right? Let me just check the calculator. Hold on one second. Okay, good. Thank God. All right, so about 119, right? So we are good. So this is this is going to be what the pressure cuff should read. And remember, this is both in millimeters of mercury now. All right? So hopefully that helped, guys. All right, please remember to subscribe. Give us a hand. Help us out. We appreciate you guys so very much. We thank you for those of you who are able to. And for those of you who can't, eh, no big deal. We'll catch you next time. Take care.